and today we are going to discuss paging. Paging is a storage mechanism that allows operating system OS to retrieve processes from the secondary storage into the main memory in the form of pages. In the paging method, the main memory is divided into small fixed size blocks of physical memory, which is called frames. The size of a frame should be kept the same as that of a page to have maximum utilization of the main memory and to avoid external fragmentation. Paging is used for faster access to data and it is a logical concept. Demand paging. Demand paging is a process of swapping in the virtual memory system. In this process, all data is not moved from the hard drive to a main memory because while using this demand paging, when some programs are getting demand, then data will be transferred. But if required data is already existed into memory, then need not copy the data. The demand paging system is done with swapping from auxiliary storage to primary memory, so it is known as lazy evaluation. Here is a diagram showing the swap in from program A and the swap out to program B. How does demand paging work? Demand paging system is totally dependent on the page table implementation because paging table allows the maps to logically remove the memory to physical memory. Bitwise operators are implemented in the page table to indicate that the pages are okay or not, valid or invalid. All valid pages are existed into primary memory and other side invalid pages are existed into secondary memory. Now all process go ahead to access all pages, then some things will be happened, such as attempt to currently access page. If page is OK, valid, then all processing instructions work as normal. If any one page is found as invalid, then page fault issue is arisen. Now, memory reference is determined that valid reference is existed on the auxiliary memory or not. If not existed, then process is terminated. Otherwise, needed pages are paged in. Now, disk operations are implemented to fetch the required page into primary memory. 